Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am a flight attendant for a regional US airline. So I'm in Seattle. It was quite a hot mess getting here today. All of my commuting flights that I had planned on taking oversold. So I pretty much got my like plan C or D flight out here, but we made it. It's all good. And I love this crash bag. It's so cute, so I'm gonna show it to you. There is a microwave, sink, dishwasher. Um, there are pots and pans in here. Full fridge and freezer, love to see that. Bathroom, shower, and then this cute little light. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. Okay, that's a little bit better. This cute little lounge area, and then a curtain that like closes it off because right now it's just me, but I'm sure more people will come. Workspace, big TV, another workspace, plenty of space for you to put your belongings, and two separate beds. Each bed has a charging station, which just rocks, and then a little closet. And I've already put my suitcase here. I was not expecting it to be this nice. So as of right now, I'm the only one here. I'm sure throughout the month more people will come. I actually did get called to work a two-day trip starting tomorrow. I was on reserve for three days and they called me for the next two days. It's really simple. I'm working Seattle to Vancouver and then Vancouver back to Seattle the very next day. I was initially really excited that I got Vancouver, but my coworker has just informed me that um, Americans are considered extremely high risk right now, so they're not gonna let us out of our hotel room, which is a huge bummer because I've heard Vancouver is so much fun and so beautiful, but we fly there all the time, so I'm sure I'll get to explore it once this baloney is over, but Anyway, I'm gonna hang up my uniform. I commuted in my uniform because I packed, oh, that's another thing. I didn't realize that I was going to be working a trip to Canada and Canada does not appreciate when you bring in your own food and beverages from the United States. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all of that because I meal prepped all these meals and now I won't get to take them with me to Canada. I think that's it, but I'm gonna hang up my uniform. I wore my uniform today because I had packed all my meals and I had oversized liquids and if I have to go through regular security, they let me through with my regular liquids and food when I'm working, which I am, so it worked out. I'm gonna go to bed because our report time isn't until 11.30 tomorrow, so I'll get to sleep in a little bit. They could always call me starting at 4, so I really, really hope they don't, but they can if they want to, so... Fingers crossed they leave me alone until 11.30 because your girl likes to sleep. Okay, I'll check in with you tomorrow. <laughs> So it's actually my third day on reserve. <laughs> Yesterday, I finished a two-day, two 
Vancouver, British Columbia, but because of all of the quarantine restrictions right now, we were not really allowed to leave the hotel because Americans are high risk right now. So I didn't vlog any of that. The hotel was just pretty standard and I, I literally didn't do anything. So today I am working four legs, Seattle to Spokane, Spokane back to Seattle, Seattle back to Spokane, and then Spokane right back to Seattle. And then we are trying to hop on a commuting flight back to Salt Lake City that will leave 30 minutes after I land. So let's cross our fingers that I get on. I'm trying to think anything else important that you all missed yesterday. Not a whole lot. Um, the Canadian Border Patrol was not very nice to us. Clearly some passengers had not been nice to them, so they took it out on us. Whatever, I'm used to that, but um, that was unpleasant. Oh, I did film. I finally got to go to Tim Hortons. Every time I go to Canada, that line is so stinking long. I am never able to get anything. So I finally got something. I got a donut and a coffee and it was amazing. For those of you who don't know, Tim Hortons is, I would describe it as the Starbucks of Canada with like a Dunkin' Donuts vibe. It is thebomb.com. But anyway, we're gonna start boarding soon. We've actually already done the first two legs. So we're back in Seattle now. I have two more and then after that, I'm gonna somehow run my way skedaddle to that Salt Lake City flight because I wanna see my husband. It's been like five days. Alright, we made it to Seattle. I always feel super self-conscious vlogging in the airport because I feel like people are totally judging me, but... A funny story. When we were sitting in Spokane, I got off the plane really quick because it was just a quick turn. Went to run to Starbucks and this couple cut me off so that they could get their coffee order first and the Starbucks employees could see that I was very clearly flustered because I wasn't gonna have enough time now. So they took that couple's order first but made my coffee first because they're the sweetest angels. <laughs> but anyway, that couple ended up being on my flight and we make an announcement at the very end of the flight for everybody to stay seated and to deplane like row by row. They were in the back of the plane and they zoomed their way straight to the front. It was so irritating. <laughs> Anyway, I have 10 minutes until my flight back to Salt Lake and I am crossing my fingers that I get on, so it just got really quiet in here. You know how some of those days are just not your day? Today is one of those days. I can't even get into my apartment right now because someone parked their car right here. That's my garage right there. And there's no one sitting in there and they haven't come back for like 10 minutes now so yeah but I'm back in Salt Lake now today has just been a a rough day to say the least I'm back home now they finally moved their car but today was just a rough day I don't know why wearing Masks on the airplane has become such a large issue, but it's just become a battle on every flight. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just sick of people yelling at me for just doing my job. And I'm just sad and I watched it happen to several of my coworkers. We're just doing the best that we can with what we're given. The airline industry as a whole is just really going through it right now, so getting yelled at on top of all of that has just been hard. But anyway, I will shake it off like I usually do. I will pray for better days ahead for my co-workers and for aviation, and I hope that whatever those people who were lashing out today are going through, I hope that gets better for them. But I am all finished with my very first trip out of Seattle. As a whole, it was a positive experience, I would say. Uh, I did my first Vancouver layover. I didn't get to see much, but I did get to go to Tim Hortons, so that is always a win. My camera just ran out of memory, but um, my crew was really just great today. And I had two opportunities to get Starbucks because I stinkin' needed it. It was a long day. <laughs> 
but I'm finally home. My husband came and picked me up, so I'm gonna go spend some time with him and just decompress for a little, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave and leave me a comment. I really like reading those and I like chatting with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.